breaking out of prison is supposed to be impossible, but not for El Chapo. Discover the jaw-dropping details of how the world's most notorious drug lord pulled off not one, but two daring escapes from maximum security prisons. Have you ever wondered what it would take to break out of a maximum security prison? For most of us, it's a feat that seems impossible. But not for Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the infamous Mexican drug lord who has escaped from prison not once, but twice. El Chapo's escapes have captivated the world, leaving people to wonder how he was able to outsmart some of the most secure prisons in Mexico. So, how did he do it? Let's dive into the incredible details of El Chapo's daring prison breaks and explore the cunning strategies that allowed him to slip away from the authorities. Escaping for the notorious drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was considered an impossible feat. However, the Mexican drug kingpin was no stranger to escape attempts, as he had already escaped from prison once before in 2001. In 2015, he made a daring escape from the Altiplano Maximum Security Prison, leaving authorities and the public in disbelief. The escape, which involved a mile-long tunnel, stunned the world and put the Mexican government under immense pressure to recapture the elusive drug lord. El Chapo, who headed the Sinaloa cartel, was one of the most powerful drug lords in the world. He was known for his ruthlessness, intelligence, and cunning tactics. The cartel he ran was responsible for supplying a significant portion of the world's illegal drugs, including cocaine, marijuana, and heroin. Given his status and the tight security measures in place, it was thought that his incarceration would put an end to his criminal enterprise. However, on July 11, 2015, El Chapo managed to escape from the Altiplano prison, a feat that stunned the world. The escape was executed with such precision that it was clear that the cartel had invested significant resources and planning into the operation. The escape was carried out through a mile-long tunnel that was dug from a house located nearly a mile away from the prison. The tunnel was equipped with lights, ventilation, and a modified motorcycle that was used to transport El Chapo through the tunnel to freedom. The escape was a significant embarrassment to the Mexican government which had invested heavily in building state-of-the-art prisons to hold high-profile criminals. The government had also made a show of El Chapo's arrest, with the president of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, announcing the capture on Twitter. The escape dealt a significant blow to the government's credibility and sparked outrage among the Mexican public. After his escape, El Chapo remained at large for several months, evading capture by law enforcement. He was eventually recaptured in January 2016, but his escape had already cemented his reputation as a criminal mastermind. The Altiplano prison escape was not El Chapo's only successful prison break. In 2001, he had escaped from a maximum security prison by hiding in a laundry cart. The escapes from prison by El Chapo highlight the challenges that governments face in dealing with highly organized criminal organizations. It also underscores the need for tighter security measures in prisons and the importance of intelligence gathering in preventing such escapes. While El Chapo's criminal empire is no longer as powerful as it once was, his daring escape from the Altiplano prison will go down in history as one of the most audacious prison breaks of all time. The Mexican government's failure to apprehend El Chapo after his escape also led to increased cooperation between Mexican and U.S. law enforcement agencies. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, or DEA, had been working to capture El Chapo for years and had played a crucial role in his eventual capture. After his escape, the DEA increased its efforts to capture the elusive drug lord, and the U.S. government even offered a $5 million reward for information leading to his capture. In the months after his escape, El Chapo remained on the run moving from safe house to safe house to avoid capture. He continued to run his criminal empire from hiding, even as law enforcement agencies ramped up their efforts to capture him. In the end, it was a combination of intelligence gathering, undercover operations, and a bit of luck that led to his eventual capture in January 2016. El Chapo's capture and subsequent extradition to the United States were hailed as a major victory for law enforcement agencies. His trial in the U.S. was widely covered in the media, 
with testimony from former cartel members shedding light on the inner workings of the Sinaloa cartel. In February 2019, El Chapo was found guilty on all 10 counts against him, including drug trafficking and money laundering, and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The story of El Chapo's escape from the Altiplano prison is one of audacity, corruption, and the challenges faced by law enforcement agencies in dealing with powerful criminal organizations. While El Chapo may be behind bars for the rest of his life, his legacy as a criminal mastermind and his daring escape from prison will be remembered for years to come. Investigations into the escape revealed that prison officials, guards, and even high-ranking government officials had colluded with the cartel to ensure El Chapo's escape. This level of corruption allowed the Sinaloa cartel to operate with impunity and evade justice for years. The escape also demonstrated the limitations of the Mexican government's ability to deal with powerful criminal organizations. The Sinaloa cartel had long been one of the most powerful drug trafficking organizations in the world, and El Chapo is one of its most notorious and influential leaders. The Mexican government's failure to apprehend him after his escape only served to highlight the challenges faced by law enforcement agencies in dealing with organized crime.